a sold out Civic Center in Tallahassee. And we'll see exactly what the Seminoles can do against the sixth ranked Duke Blue Devils. There is young Bob Sura, the 6'5 sophomore. He has to contain Grant Hill today at the Blue Devils. And of course, at the other end, Hill has to contain him too, doesn't he, folks? As Sura is averaging better than 20 points a game. And there is the son of Calvin Hill. And the Blue Devils now being introduced here. And if there is an underrated member of the team, it is Thomas Hill at. Uh, the young man comes in here averaging Jimmy better than 16 points a game and there's Cherokee Park. But now everybody does know him. Thomas Hill's a slasher. He really gets the job done around the basket but he hits his three pointer too. Antonio Lang 6 8 junior averaging 5.7 points a game. And of course the floor leader for coach Mike Krzyzewski is Bobby Hurley. What can you say about Mike as the lights go out <laughs> in Tallahassee folks. Don't oh. adjust your dial. This is shades of the shark. I thought we were going to have a lot of fill here. Ty. I haven't seen. They've never done this before. I've been here four times. First time the lights went out. Kind of a nice glow there. Ooh. Ah, the chief hustle is ready. But you got to watch out. Brent when you do something like this that you've never done before is the emotion. You get so emotional that sometimes your own players become drained in that first four or five minutes and then the opposition has a run. We saw Sammy Cassell being introduced and here's their quarterback Charlie Ward. Heisman Trophy winner next year Brent. Got a good chance. Rodney Dobard, 6'9 senior. 58 blocked shots leads the nation. And here is Sora. Uh, I love this guy. I call him Hondo. He's my John Havlicek. You just wind him up, put him out, and he just plays until you say you got to come off the court. And Doug Edwards. Averaging better than 17 points a game and better than eight rebounds a game has to come up big for this one. Ah, here we go. Keys to the game. Duke, they've lost two games. Those games they shot 37 percent. They got to shoot well. Also, more involvement in the offense. Get more people involved than in the three guys. And Hill, use them inside. Florida State, control the firm. They're a law firm. Matchup Ward Hurley important. And they've got to get some scoring, Brent, from Edwards and Dobard. They've got to score inside. Seventh year at Florida State for Pat Kennedy. He has made the NCAA tournament four of the last five years made it to the sweet 16 last year before he was eliminated by Bobby Knight in Indiana and a very close friend of Jimmy B's. Yeah but Bobby Knight's been a particular foreign impact side to beat him a few times this year again in the preseason NIT and uh, he's had a really a great run here at Florida State but just the fact the building is filled is a tribute to what he's done here. So there are some of the matchups that we will see today. Uh, but Hurley will be going against Ward at the uh, at the guard spot there at the bottom and uh, Thomas Hill will go up against Cassell. Now I guess for basketball fans around the country this is the young man that came to watch against Hurley today and that would be Charlie Ward. I think that uh, if you poll the fans probably the most entertaining college basketball player this year is probably Bobby Hurley. Folks enjoy watching him play. And, uh, Duke. Has never lost to Florida State. The only team that uh, FSU has not beaten in the conference. I'll tell you, it's mind-boggling. Bobby Hurley, it's mind-boggling that uh, Charlie Ward can step off the football field, be the type of players in football, and be given this kind of a task. And a lot of people think he can do it, but he can stop Hurley. Controlled by the Seminoles on the first possession. Early comes right out on Ward, number 12. They drop it to Edwards, left-handed. Duke fronts the post. And Castle score. goes to pick up Hurley, and out of bounds is Hill here on the side. Stepping away from courtside microphone here. That was a big decision that Pat Kenny had to make. Would he press Duke? You know, they press all year long, but you want to press a team of veterans with a guard like Curley. They did after the score, and they got a foul. Let's we'll see if they can do that. Man to man. Good job of 
Hunting parks down low and not letting him come outside. They're going to lob up over Govard and not using the glass as parts. Both teams fronted the post. Both clubs entered with the lob pass. Weak side help didn't get there quick enough. One of the dangers of fronting the post, but it's still a better way to play than letting the guy catch. Rebounding the miss and Hurley in the middle trying to pound it fast. And Florida State got back defensively. Lang, though, slipped in from the side. Ball is out of bounds, Dukes. Another key would be Cassell outside. He, he will take the threes. And uh, in fact, he was perfect last game. Six for six in three point shots. Collected by Sura. Now Hill comes back inside. The open man is Lang. Just a very smart basketball player. When Hill got past his man, he stepped on the inside, knowing someone was going to be freed up on the wing. Might be looking at a six foot eight inch point guard next year for the Blue Devils. Now Florida State needs Sura or Castle to step up at the offensive end, and Duke well aware of that fact. Edwards, meanwhile, backed in, has it knocked away by Parks. Beautiful. Playing like you'd expect, unwise pass, intercepted Ward. Now Castle cut off at the baseline by Lang. Gobard off the fake, won't come through. Here's Sir. Nice drive, beautiful. Now it's Hurley. Seminoles attack him at the top, and Hurley gets through two of them. Got to be an open man, Thomas Hill. Seminoles now looking for a transition Dobard and here's Hill Lang taken away by Parks loose Sura and here they come again Castle in the middle off the dribble Edwards crowds into it and they're pressing after the score. Another foul. That's twice off a score that they have picked up personals on the press. Shows confidence, though. This is the decision talking with Pat Kenny Pratt yesterday. Do you want to press to? Do you want to get away from the things you normally do, things that have gone well for you? Well, he made the decision. We score. We're at home. We're going after him. Now, twice, though, they, they have they got uh, no turnovers. But you know what? Duke shot the ball quickly a couple of times. That's what made them get to start their fast break. Grant is that size this match they just popped into the corner 6-8 Bobby sir can't get there shoot shot right over I'm still looking for Florida State to get a little emotionally drained I, mean, they, I, I tell you they'd like to get to that TV timeout too because we're gonna there's Sora Jimmy on yeah. an offensive foul down at the baseline three fouls and so far, no team fouls against Duke here in the first half. Fouls could certainly take Florida State out of this game. They are no longer a deep team. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've lost two men who could really help in that area. Well, Chuck Graham, they could really, really need him. He's out for the year. Here's Grant Hill again. again. He's having it any way he wants it. That was the matchup that I felt was key that you had to watch. Now, what do you do? Pat Kenny's got to start to think about some kind of a, a, a trick defense. Uh, if he can't contain Grand Hill in that matchup, you're going to have to go to something else. Maybe a, a triangle or two, boxing one. Bad shot. Not yeah, a good shot. Joe Bard misfiring, oh, and now Hurley looking for a chance. Thomas Hill take it on the turnaround with that left hand tapped in by Grant. Won't stay down. Florida State's rebound. Here's Edwards oh. on the bounce, kicked out of bounds by Hurley. He stopped a potential break with that, too, by the way. So we've got a timeout. Duke with a two-point lead here in the early going in Tallahassee. One of the college football capitals of America, Tallahassee, and trying to upgrade their basketball program, and they'll have their hands filled here today, Jimmy, with Grant Hill. Had a chance to meet Coach Babb. I didn't met him before the game, and he's as personable as he appears during the year, although how close can we get? How many times? 
Get a kicker. <laughs> They're supposed to be in the chase for one of the better ones coming out of Colorado, but uh, I'd come here. Oh. Oh. I love beautiful Dubai. Often out of a timeout, you go to set play. Pat Kennedy did, and it worked. And now here's the pressure. Here's the pressure. Thomas Hill in the middle. Short, but Lang is there. The pressure is working. He's getting Duke to shoot quickly. They haven't made a bucket yet, so you can stay with it. And away from the ball on the inside. It's against Lang. That's another mismatch physically. Lang trying to battle Edwards. What he's trying to do, Brent, is push him out higher. Get him out from the low blocks, and he's just pushing and pushing. Gonna give that shot all night long. Yeah, they sure are backing off Gobart on the outside. Yeah. picks up Hurley. There's that matchup. That hill down low again. The three. Can't get it. Automatic. I mean, you go to Scott and report, you say one thing. Do not let that little sucker get the three-point shot. Even if he's got to go by me. Don't let him do it. Such a key to their offense. Bobby hitting that three-point. So it's cut off by Thomas Hill. Deflected Hurley. He forced it in a foot race. And Castle gets it to the ball first and brings it back. So is three. Now Hurley from behind his back. It's over. Hill. It's over in there. It's over. Boy, you're going to have to. Got to think of something. I know Pat's on the bench right now. You know, what am I going to do with that matchup? It's absolutely killing him. Ward's three. Edwards with a strong offensive rebound. Couldn't put it back, and Thomas Hill yanks it away. Oh, good, good head. Thomas Hill saw they were looking for the steal. Castle fouls it. Here is something else Mike Krzyzewski said he wanted to do, and that's sub earlier. He felt he was not letting his subs get in the game early enough. He thought it might have uh, repercussions later in the year. Tapped up by Meeks, who had checked into the game for Duke. And here's Sura in a foot race. Hurley comes to cut him off, and he scores it in his foul. FSU is at its best. An up-tempo game, getting Sura out of the open court, Cassell out in the open court. And Sura can really finish. Nice, Jay. Just finishes plays well. Bobby Sura, rookie of the year in the ACC last year. And another and a great sophomore year. That's for fun. I think I've been calling Cassell Castle a couple of times. That That's because that I've been corrected. playing chess and you've been looking at me. I've been castling all the time. <laughs> How's the chess going, okay? Now let, let's see. The machine's I'm two and forty so far against the machine. <laughs> Ooh, Ward. Ward's done a nice job of keeping the penetration down to an end with Hurley. A minimum, but you can't let him take that shot right there. Gotta get out there. And see, Charlie is uh, aware of that right now after giving up one. And Hurley slips around, uses the screen short. Sir, Hurley reaches back in. Now the Seminoles. Nice job. Gobart Edwards with another offensive rebound, trying to go strong, and he's fouled. Set at the top, Florida State needed Dobart to score, and he's missed now three very, very short, wide open jump shots. And he's probably going to take a, a blow, and uh, Byron Wells will come in, who's a senior, played very well this year for Pat Kennedy. Wide open shot. He's had three of them. Edwards doing a terrific job on the glass so far. Very wise not to go up without a charge. Oh, set play out of bounds. 
Sura. Leave it alone. It's going in. So they have battled back to within one. Now Hurley, Clark, Meek, Thomas, and Grant Hill he was, coming down. He was on Grant Hill now, Brent. They got Edwards on. They moved Edwards over to him, giving him a little more size to continue. Oh, Ward jumps shot. out on Hurley and altered the shot. Sir has got Ward open on the other side, and he traveled. He had Ward all alone on the left side and should have given it to him. Yes, he should have. Not a good decision. That's one of the things, one of the criticisms of Bobby Sears. Once he gets going, you know, he, he just makes that instinctive play. Sir is taking himself out right now. Yeah. Two. Oh, look at this. Charlie Ward stopped the penetration and got a piece of the ball, too. Excellent job. That was a big defensive possession for Florida State because they made the change. And they had uh, Douglas Edwards guarding Grand Hill. Charlie Ward is even in this matchup out oh, here. No He's question. playing extremely well right now against Hurley. Clark coming around, altered. Lang tries to keep it alive, and Meek comes back with the hoop. Eric Meek with his putback hoop. You know, Mike is happy to see that. He wants the bench to contribute. Now, Carroll, he replaced Sura, number 21 of Florida State on the field. This is Cassell on the turnaround. Florida State's last game, Brent, but they're starting five scored all their points. And that's another oh, there we go. turnover, and here's Cassell on a bust out. Seminoles to the lead. See Duke substituted, and all of a sudden, Florida State has come back taking a lead. That's been a concern of Coach K. Clark gets it inside, and Duke regains the lead. Clark's been solid off the bench. He's been solid all year long, averaging eight, eight points a game. Ward up over Hurley is short. Clark takes Ward down on the rebound, and now it's Hurley with Ward chasing him from behind, gets it to Lang, and Ward hustling back, crashes into him. It was a little bit out of control. And it was at the other end when Ward got knocked down on the rebound that set that up. They tried to make up for a shot who's probably ill-advised. Followed it, didn't get it. I saw some speed in getting down the court, though. Wow. Oh, yeah. So he'll take a breather. Again, Sura after, and Edwards with six apiece leading the summer. After timeout, always a special play. Teams will always up something special. There it is. The clock. He didn't want to give it to him. <laughs> Cherokee Parks down low. Byron Wells defending him. He should be able to get Parks into his offense now against Wells. There they are, and uh, foul on the inside. Good call. Do the same thing. Trying to keep Parks. Everybody's battling to keep people away from the low blocks. They use their lower body, and it's, uh, it's an obvious uh, foul call. Parks has a big time turnaround jump shot from down on the inside. It might be a little underrated right now, as a matter of fact. Florida State building those fouls. Lang is really getting off Lang, too. A go guard for Florida State and Lang here. And why guard him out there? He went to him and he used his speed to come around, and Wells has to pick up the personal, but the mistake that's made yeah. is go guard. I mean, why guard? You, let him, you leave him alone the whole time. And then he steps out 25 feet, and then you go play a man-to-man -man where he can use his speed. I mean, just not a good decision. Wait, wait, and now all of a sudden Edwards runs out on him, and there he's going to beat you. That's where he's going to utilize his speed, and uh, Wells gets there much too late, and he gets a quick two fouls. Foul trouble really building up right now. And look who's back. Six points for Grant. Brick. Oh. <laughs> Uh -huh, got a glass brick nice. at that. That's right. You know, you... <laughs> wow. Uh, not even Will Chamberlain can make yeah. free throws using that. He'll probably net this one now. Rattles out. Carroll. Off to Charlie Ward. Running the team. This is the sixth game that he has started for the Seminoles. They're a different team. With that quarterback in there. This is Sura. Snaps one off the side of the glass. Now quickly into Hurley's hands. He'll come back and pull up on the board. Rattled it in. He does it so well. You come out, he goes by. You don't come out, he hits the J. 
He does it so many big games. So you go back to Vegas game, the Michigan game. He hits so many threes. Boy, do they miss Andre Reed right now? Uh, he would be the fellow would be on the inside. Wells not holding up as Hurley comes and glides on in. They're going to have a problem with Wells in there. Yeah. I was, I was talking about them being a little run down and all the emotion, and, and uh, they're looking a little tired. You got to go. You got to go to bucket nice. Set call. Going to go to probably Edwards. You know Wells is not going to shoot that from outside on you either. Turn around wow. and huge. Wells comes right back with a field goal. And I'll see this matchup here. Now we've got Carroll trying to guard Grand Hill. Third person they tried on Grand Hill. Drop it to Parks. Backing in on Wells. There's that turnaround. Is he getting, is he getting good? Right? right. He's not Christian Layton. He's Cherokee Parks. Exactly. And that's good enough. He's a back to the basket player. He's getting sure. better each game. Well, Christian take it on the outside and face up. Entirely different. Two different players, aren't they? Here's Sura now. As he kicked away. And Grant Hill coming away. It's three on one. To Lang. Travel. What happened there? Get the ball to the middle. Why throw it from one wing to the other? Get it to Bobby Hurley in the middle, and he makes the play, and it's two points. Kind of mistake you don't see Duke make. No, they, they, no question. They don't make very many. That's why you, I like the point of nice. They don't make any, so you, you get a chance. <laughs> say they made a mistake. <laughs> oh. now here's Hurley. Cassell brings it up. I'm going to help defense. Very tough defensive team. Duke has been. There's a little advantage that Sam Cassell has over Hurley. He can take him to a spot, jump, and get that jump shot over. As I said, this game is a matchup game now. It's unlike most college games. Well done. Inside. Carroll is trying to battle through to stay with Grant Hill. <laughs> Been a difference in the fouls here, Jimmy, and that could add up against the Seminoles. Yeah, and it's mostly because the number 33 here for Duke. How do we guard? Him? Tried Sarah too small. Tried Edwards might be a little bit uh, too big and not quick enough. And they tried Carroll. And uh, you know, Mike Shashevsky, you know, he, 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 he utilizes his players so well, gets them in the best position. And as you say, it's, it, by the game's end, it really builds up. Here's Sora. On the bounce to Dobart on the run, and uh, they turn it over. Bobby Hurley, seven points. Grant Hill, six, leading the way for the uh, Blue Devils. But Grant Hill is causing havoc inside. You see he's down there low. Now you got Carroll trying to keep him from the ball. He pushed him. Carroll says, no, I didn't push him. I didn't push him, but yes, you did. You have to push him. You got to push him. You got to shove him. You got to move him. The thing that's so hard to believe about him is, is how, how big he is. I mean, the kid's 250 pounds. Let's see a set play. Usually out of a timeout and a high post pick here. Two man game. Back to top of the key. Jumper. Two points. Thank you. Set that up. You come right out. Everybody. You come out of timeouts, you got to be ready for a set play. And, and more often than not, it's something that probably through scouting, watching a zillion you know, uh, feet of film, you say, hey, they're going to use the lob, they're going to do this. Stolen by Hurley. Here he comes. comes past Cassell, Ward from behind. Here's Cherokee. Great shot. Gave the ball to Parks where he could handle it. Held it just long enough so Parks, one bounce. That's it. Gathered himself, laid it in. Two quick hoops after that timeout, and Duke builds a 30 to 22 lead. Here's an interesting matchup. Edwards off the bump. Duke now, a chance for a three hoop run after the timeout. Thomas Hill's there it open. Is. Oh. <laughs> Batted back in by Grant Hill on the other side. See, right now, they, Florida State would like to take advantage of Edwards and Lang down low. Or they'd like to advantage Cassell and Hill. Cassell's quicker. See that? Gets him back on his heels. Oh, what a throw. Uh. On paper, Brent, Edwards should have a really 
You know, good time with down low with uh, Lang. Then get him the ball. Patience and a good defensive effort. All right, set play. Clucks winding down. You're going to see a screen. Oh, look at that. Double screen at the top. Short and Lang hustles for the rebound, and there's an injury. Lang is down. Uh, he grabbed at his right ankle. Oh, I should say it's Thomas, Thomas Hill. Hill. I thought it was Antonio when I looked back there, but it's Thomas Hill who grabbed at his, at his right ankle. been fortunate in, in that area. But Thomas Hill and Grand Hill and Bobby Hurley played an awful lot of minutes and a lot of games without a serious injury. And a team that doesn't have great depth. Doesn't look like he's in that much pain. Hopefully he'll be okay. It doesn't appear to be serious no, the way he's okay. walking off. I mean, to try and win, you're back to back to back championships. You've got to have a lot of things go right. Uh -huh. Here's the injury factor. Mike has been fortunate. He sends Marty Clark back into the game. Isn't that amazing? He doesn't age, folks. Look at this. <laughs> hey, he doesn't lose. Hey, it's just amazing. You keep winning. Is that what you do? You don't need gray hair when you keep winning? You get old real quick when you lose 10, 15 times a year. <laughs> Mike's only losing about twice a year. What a run. Unbelievable. Uh, second only to John Wooden. Mike. Look at that. College basketball. Oh. Now it's a Seminoles ball. Great penetration. Look at that. Stolen back, and they regain it. It's Edwards. Seminoles oh. now have to settle down here offensively. Yeah, I think you've got to decide. Either you're going to go to your best player, or you're going to set offense right now. They're really just running more one-on-one -on -one stuff. So they're going to go to Edwards. They're going to go to Sam Cassell. Yeah, it's struggle That might setting. want to set something up half court. Meanwhile, the Blue Devils are short on that job, but they're having it any way they want it down here offensively in this spurt. So this is a matchup here, though, that does favor Florida State. Grand Hill cannot check Cassell on a dribble. It's a quick foot. Mark with Ward. Back to Ward, and Clark stays with him. Oh, yeah. oh my God! No. No Clark's rebound. Charlie didn't have the confidence yet to let go of that three-pointer. Clark's knocked away by Ward. Gets it out to Cassell. It's three on one. This should be a hoop. They're fortunate right now, Florida State, because Duke has come away empty last two times down. Maybe down six. One thing Hurley has not done against Ward is penetrate a great deal like he normally You're does. Right. He's done a pretty good job. Don't give that three, though. Watch that three. There it is. Rattles off. Sura. The drive right there. from the corner. So far, the Seminoles have not been able to get the entry pass in. They've been forced several times to take that perimeter shot and settle for it, and that's not... And they're not hitting it. They're, right. they're really not, not hitting it. Only down six. Frustrating. Oh, this is going to be it. Watch out for the lob here. Watch the lob to Grant here. There comes the thing. Bingo. Oh, they work on that play. I, I, <laughs> I've seen that one enough times. Got the fake, got the man in the air, missed the shot. Edwards off to Cassell. Come on, come on. Dobard muscling, loose, and Ward hustles to it. Entry now, Edwards, nice. Dobard! 
Jimmy, they got to get that entry pass down into the paint. They were fortunate there. Charlie Ward's ability to get the loose ball. You know, battling Bobby Early. He's got great quickness. It was that loose ball. Not many people out, you know, out hustle, out battle Bobby Early to get the ball. And they got it inside. Edwards made a nice dish. But they do have to find a way to, to enter their offense a little more easily. Duke's giving them all kinds of problems. But you look up, you make a free throw, it's three-point ball game. We talked about Duke's shooting, and, and that's really what's left them down the last, last three or four times down. Thomas Hill back in the game. They need a bucket. Lang, Clark, and there was a bump over there by Meek. He picked off Cassell and drew the foul. Maurice Robinson, 6'6 six, six forward. He's a freshman. Uh, the funny guy in there is Bonds. Oh, does he love to go there? And the crowd gets excited. It's at Arizona State we went to school. And I think he uh he could I, buy the gym. He somehow gets moves on, I think, for the, the crowd noise. <laughs> he gets voted. Well, the Seminoles, Braille the Blue Devils, by four right now. Robinson on the floor. This is Cassell. Has it deflected away and uh, out of bounds. Or the state ball. Duke picked up the defensive uh, pressure in that possession. Another threat from out there, Robinson. Inside, outside. And a foul against foul. the Blue Devils. Cassell was free. That's what he's telling him. He's saying, Douglas, Douglas, I threw it in. I moved. I was wide open at the three. So that's number five against the Blue Devils. Already eight on Florida State. It's another thing they do so well, do They play man-to-man. -man. They play it the whole game. They play without foul, which is uh, really a tribute to the coach and the veteran players to be able to play as much pressure as they do. No foul. So on the bounce to Edwards. Now Ward gets inside. Hurley hangs short. Knocked up by Sir Ward. Left hands it in. Wow. Wow. On his initial shots, Brent, he doesn't have the confidence to take that outside shot. And he's trying to do things too much. You know, he, he does a drive. He's faking. He's pumping. But then after it goes to, goes to the glass, he and uh, Sir really go after it. Thomas Hill's limping again. I don't know what you can see. Uh, looks, I think. I think they stopped the play because Thomas Hill is limping. I think he's the one who should be going out. At least that's what Pat Kenny's asking Larry Limbaugh. And instead, it was Eric Meek who. Uh, mm. Sat down. Thomas is really good. That's what uh, Kennedy was upset about. We're trapping. This is Clark. The three rattles out. Sora rebounding. Loses the dribble. Put the ball on the floor in traffic. Okay, went to a trap. Had a quick shot. Had the rebound in time. Self check, and not even going out to guard him. As the clock winds down, always penetration, pick and roll, penetration. Thomas Hill. And over the top is Clark. A good defensive set that time by Florida State. And as you mentioned, Brandon, it's true, Bobby Hurley is not getting inside the Florida State defense that will. And he does that normally. To everybody. And that's going to be something I think uh, Coach K will be talking about at halftime. But then again, part of Mike's game plan was to get away from that constant one on one and get more people involved. So, you know, it's, 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 it's difficult to get that balance that he's looking for. Would you agree that Ward, though, has been stressing his defense rather than no his offense? Oh, no question. And, and, and Charlie feels more comfortable on the defensive end than offensively. You see, he's so hesitant. 
to let it fly. That hurts you down the stretch to the end of a game because when you got to get that, uh, take the shot late in the game, he's going to get it. People are cheering partly because that's Sam Cassell's 22nd consecutive free throw. He has not missed a, missed a shot, and I believe this is the eighth game. That's Charlie not Ward. bad. Did I just jinx him? Has it missed a shot? 22 in a row? We shall see. The broadcaster's jinx. Sam, don't take too much time now. Come on. He gets it up there. Oh, no. I can see it. He took forever on that one. <laughs> this is a long dry spell for Duke. They have not scored since the 6-15 mark. Oh, what a pass! Oh! The Sura didn't score, but again... And one. That's 10 for Edwards. And a tough 10. A tough 10, Brent. He's had to work for everyone. Nice crossover dribble. Good luck. Bobby Sir has got it. Just under there. Watch this. Watch Edwards. Right then. It's been a tough 10. Gathers himself. Ooh. Look at this. And lo and behold. So, if you work on Hurley's penetration and you pound low offensively, You've got a chance got a against shot. the Blue Devils. Got a shot. There's no question that that's come to the front here in the first half. You see how they keep him out now? Trapping. Oh, they got the steal. A dunk. Open. A dunk. I knew he wasn't going to dunk that one. The Tomahawk chop is coming out right now. And they're trapping. Watch out for three. When you trap late, watch out for the three. They could go inside the park's diagonal pass anytime they want and get a three-point shot. Now, Grant Hill doesn't take many. In fact, doesn't take any. Didn't get the bounce. And Florida State for travel. Travels, so the automatic call. Duke has a final opportunity here in the first half to squeeze the trigger. With this dry spell, Duke trails by four. Got to watch. Uh, what are you looking for now if you're a coach? Got to watch the lob to Grand Hill right in the middle of the floor. Obviously, Collins is a jump shooter, so you're looking for up screen for Collins. Thomas Hill, an excellent leap or two. Knocked Good away defense. and out of bounds by Sura. Excellent defense. Nope. Do they love it in Tallahassee or what? So Pat Kennedy and the Seminoles lead Mike Krzyzewski and Duke by four at the half. So Kennedy and the Seminoles let one get away against Duke in Tallahassee last year. Duke was the only team in the ACC Florida State was unable to beat in their first year of competition in the conference. This certainly through the years given us some great college basketball. Now we'll get an idea exactly what they want to do. They want to hill. They're going inside. What did they discuss in the locker room? Grant Hill takes it out of bounds. Here is Hurley, Parks, Thomas Hill, Antonio Lang on the floor for the two time defending national champions. Grant Hill is up one and he'll come to the line. It's so hard not to go to a Grant Hill when you have it. You know, it, it, it's hard not to, to, to give him the ball, especially when you had a uh, you shut out 615. Six minutes, 15 seconds, you don't score, and you got a guy like Grand Hill. You get him the ball, you know he's going to get fouled or he's going to score. Here he is again, that size advantage he has on Surrey gets him a la Oscar Robertson deep into the lane, and he gets uh, free throws, shooting only 69% for the year from the line. 
I look for Duke also, their defensive pressure and the intensity to pick up to try to get those turnovers to get more points off turnovers. So now the quarterback of the Seminoles football team, Charlie Ward, will bring it up on her. Sura, Cassell, Dobard, and Edwards on the floor for the Seminoles. This is Cassell. Snaps it to the inside, and there's the play. Edwards couldn't put it away into the hands of Parks. That's who you want to have it, though. You're Pat Kennedy. You're happy. You executed. And here there's that man again. Matt Hill missing. Dobard has it taken away by Lang, and this is desire on Duke's part right now. First two hoops. Limbo with the uh, foul call. Thomas Hill for Holden Sura. And Thomas injured an ankle in the first half. Came back to play despite a little bit of a limp, but he seems to be moving all right now. Good faith. Cassell. Beautiful. There's that matchup we talked about. When you get Cassell outside and Grant Hill that far out, no way. Can't stop him. A little too quick for him. Look at that. You come out, coming out. Nope. Up and under. Where's the help? Where's the help? They're too late. Now let's see if they press. The Florida State have that confidence against Duke to press after a made foul shot. Selk has got a new streak now. There's one in the row. They're dropping back, no pressure. Grant Hill. Parks. Oh. Overthrows Hurley. Went to Grant Hill three times in a row, Brent. And he did score once, but twice came away empty. First half, and he's still called one of six for the game, but the Seminoles get it back. Ward's strength was defense against Hurley, keeping him from penetrating in the first half. Edwards. Duke yanks it away. Bobby looking to get down the middle, slips, loses it. Cassell comes out, gives it to Dover over to Sura, has it knocked away and out of bounds. <laughs> Cassell, I mean, that's uh, how not to run that play. He went between oh, wow. his legs, behind his back, flipped it to the 6'10 kid coming down the lane. Sam. No, and, no. And Sam is blaming Dobard <laughs> on the way back up here. Wow. He was all over Dobard. Uh, well, he's here. I come. Oops. I got it in the lane. Fouled by Edwards. You know, speaking of Charlie Ward again, Brendan, it shows that offense is more difficult to play than defense. You know, everyone thinks that uh, because it's more fun, that's what players want to do. But you see Charlie Ward come out here and using his speed, his quickness, and his intelligence, doing a very good job defensively. But offensively, you know, he doesn't have that rhythm yet that you need in, 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 a, in a backcourt position. He's not confident with a jump shot and he drives a little hesitant. That's going to take a lot more time than his defensive uh, ability, which really shows really right away. Boom, he does a terrific job. In a what a fine team. young man. Yeah. Very quiet. His family, four sisters, mother and father, grew up nearby in Thomasville. Going to be a favorite to win the Heisman Trophy. Tyrone Wheatley of Michigan will be a, be a strong candidate in that race, too. He never, he never bad game, did he? Oh, oh, there it is. Wow. Hey, we were just talking about that. <laughs> See how quickly he could come on, though? To oh! Grant Hill. What a catch. What a throw. How many times have we seen that? Grand Hill. So, Ward's three. The difference right now is not Wrapping one in. Now 
Kyle Hurley looking for some of those quick penetrating oh, moves. Wow. He'll take the too three. Easy, too easy. Much too easy. Never help off Bobby Hurley. Yep. His second three of the game. Never reaction to help, but you can't. Can't do it off Hurley. Not standstill jumper. He'll knock that in all night long. Edwards in the back. That's a couple of fouls against Edwards here in the second half. It's his third. A lot of time to play. They go after him. Trying to pick up that fourth. Mark says it knocked away. Sura puts it down. Well, he doesn't like to pass after he gets the ball on a turnover. Sir has got to learn to give it up a little bit when he comes down the floor, Coach. Yeah, that, again, he'll look at the film of that and realize, hey, guy's wide open. I got to make that pass. It's Watch either this here. A bounce pass. You can make that bounce pass. Look at all the gold on his right. Right there. You can make the bounce. You can always throw it high. You know, and, yeah, Sam Cassell's not happy. But he did get himself to the free throw line, Joe. Yeah, but you got to give it up. Okay. That's what happens. The basketball gods say you got to give it up. Big battle to Brent for Cassell and Thomas Hill last few times down. I've watched a lot of shoving, a lot of pushing, sorry misses in both. Hearts improved his position and nailed it. State regains the lead on Dobard's field goal. He's under control that time. When Rodney Dobard gets himself under control, he put that shot in. Now Hill penetrates wow. and he's fouled. Cassell got him. That's his second. <laughs> and Pat's not in the head. Kind of a little junior checks in low when there's nobody taking charge right now you know, for a run you know, to dominate uh, the glass and get out in the break both clubs like to run you know, get it and go and have that six eight point uh, spurt Jimmy does Duke have an advantage in a close game down the stretch I think they definitely do definitely and part of the reason and you don't want to you know lay it on a you know a Charlie Ward he's just coming back and I don't think he's at that point yet to knock in the game winner. I think in, in, in uh, the firm of Hill, Hill and Hurley, you got guys who big games down the stretch, you know, can, can take those shots. But right now, we're not seeing the best of either Florida State or Duke basketball. Pacers has really gotten slow also. Fifteen twenty-one to go. Today's attendance, 13,333, the second largest crowd in Florida State history, Jimmy. Douglas Edwards, nice spin dribble for a big man, uses his body well, protects himself, protects the ball, and gets two. Edwards with 13 points and 10 rebounds today. He has been the main man in the paint, hasn't he? 
This is Ward with Hurley riding him. He switches back to the oh, back. It's the oh, oh, the oh, oh, big time. Big time drive and dish. And you know, that's again right from the bench. They came out and said, let's go. we one on one. Woo. Now Parks back in low. Uh, he responds. Ties it. Nobody can get it, get a run going. That was spectacular play by Charlie Ward. Oh, give it to him. Give it to Edwards when he's free. Sura wrap around into Hill's hands. Grant Hill. And Duke leads. Edwards has to touch the ball this time down. Got to get the ball in his hands. They won't let him yeah. miss the three. Parks with the rebound. Long pass and and Sura being called for the personal foul on the breakout down the floor. That's his third. There's a little composure here. You, know, you wonder, Brent, if that turnover that, he, that Bobby Sura just had might have been a result of the pass he didn't throw on that transition. And Coach Kennedy pointed out now he's maybe forced one. He'll sit down and Derek Carroll, 6'6, six, six, checks in. going to go against Cassell. That's been a battle. I haven't seen that one coming. Last His third. Four or five times down the floor. Very dangerous time for Florida State right now, Brent. They're in foul trouble. Uh, Duke getting a little settled. And we'll see uh, right across, going across. I don't know. You know it's fine for position. It's... Here he is. Early, he needs a bucket. All of a sudden, a little That's distance. Two. two. But get the ball. To Edwards. Uh, good timeout by Pat Kenny. Discuss what it is you want to do offensively, such a critical juncture in the game down four. It's our situation in Tallahassee. And the man of the of the year here is Charlie Ward, the offensive MVP of the football team. Watch what he can do in basketball. <laughs> Not a bad move there, Brent, but one thing Duke does so well is respond. Right after that basket, Hurley comes down. Bingo. He finds Grand Hill inside. And he's just a marvelous play. Let's see at the timeout. Pat Kennedy set up anything special to get the ball to the big man, Douglas Edwards. Looks like they're going to Cassell. The lob to Joe Barr. Not a bad play. Play. Behind Parks. Not a bad setup. Excellent call. Great execution. Thomas Hill. That's a two. You always feel good when you have a timeout set up a play. Brent comes out and it works. I feel like, well, that was practice session. Don't get okay, carried away. Go Bard moving into the paint. And it goes against Florida State. Duke leading the Seminoles by four. He's done a superb job of putting the basketball program on its feet here. Clark looks in, wants Parks. Gets it to Grant Hill on the drive, an easy deuce. What a wonderful cut and a great look. Cherokee Parks really playing well, Brent. And 18 for Grant Hill in this game. out rebound Grant Hill and Duke seizing command of this game snaps one to Parks Hurley got the big fellow the shot wouldn't stay down Carroll into Ward's hands long time Douglas said it was without seeing the ball down low long time got him on his back give it to him give him the ball Hurley coming away and he is fouled not good decisions right now in the half court. Uh, Douglas said we certainly a force down low. Not getting the ball. He's got the guy in his back. He goes into the lane. Grant Hill is behind him. And he just 
and stand there saying, hey, guys, you know the big guys. If you want them to rebound, you want them to run the floor, you want them to play D down the lane, you got to give them the ball. Now we got a little T here. That is the fourth personal on Cassell. Early shooting the technical. Mm. Personal, the deliberate variety by Cassell that Hurley had a bust out on that play, didn't he? Should Cassell foul out, Brent, uh, Florida State has lost seven of eight games which he has fouled out. And he'll sit down with four personals as Sura returns to the floor for the Seminoles. You can extend the lead to nine here. Look at him at the point. Grant Hill. You'll see a lot of that next year. Look at that move. Oh. It's like magic. He can take it oh, down on the God. inside as Johnson did when he was a point man at Michigan State and then just turn around great your guard player. down there. Just a great, great player. Duke up by nine. They have taken charge here in the second half against Florida State. But they've demonstrated here, Jimmy V, that they know how to win in the second half. And Grant Hill is the man who stepped forward. We've gone to him. And he's produced. Now the Seminoles need a score. Here's Carroll outside, missing the three. Grant Hill's rebound. Here's Hurley. Thomas Hill. Clark taps it in. Duke this has, one's getting out of control. Yeah, Duke has only six points off the bench, but that's certainly. And Marty Clark really is the guy off the bench who is producing the points. Firing him up right now. Foul on Parks. That's number four on Parks. Florida State's got to get back to some half court concept. Right now, Carroll came in, jacked up three, a uh, couple of one on ones. I still think you you need to post your big guy low, let the defense either front him, or you try to lob and stay behind and get it inside out. Let things happen in your offense by going, getting the ball inside outside. John Wood used to say, Brent, that a great offense is an offense where the ball goes from one side of the floor to the other side of the floor. Inside, outside. Really haven't seen that you know, for Florida State. Ball hasn't gone from one side to the other. Hasn't gone inside, outside. Got to get back to that. Now checking in is Byron Wells, 6'10 forward. Dobard sits. Wells with their only field goal off the bench in the first half. Try some pressure. Not an easy team to press. Through. Thomas Hill gets right past Wells on the inside and gets it over to Lang. Here's Sura. You know he's back defensively and Sura just drives on in and he's fouled by Grant Hill. <laughs> you, know, you know where he was going right then? So I tried that pass last time. It didn't work, Musburger. So I'm going right at the goal. <laughs> You need an appointment to get him to throw you the ball. <laughs> That's the pressure from behind. Nice block by Sir. Now he gets it. And he's going coast to coast. Only a 63% free throw shoot. That's been really a part of the game that has hurt him. Because he go gets the line lock because he drives the line. He plays hard. He's hiding on the floor. Oh, 0 for 4. He's firing five times from the free throw line. That would be a big five points right now. Look at that. Right now, Grand Hill handling the ball. Most of the time. Lang to the paint. Trying to get that foul. Good call. That was from the bench. Try and to get that fourth foul on Edwards. Number three. Oh, number three. 
It's okay, my fault. That's 18 fouls on Florida State and five on Duke. <laughs> Lang is a 60% free throw shooter. So we'll see an awful lot of trouble from the line. That was excellent ball movement. That's what happened. That ball went from one side of the floor to the other. Got down on the baseline. That was excellent offense. And a great steal. Hurley fouls Ward, who had stolen the ball from Bobby. Oh, that's the one where you don't want. You don't say, ref, don't call that, please. I make the steal. I got the layup. Oh, look the quick hands. Watch the quickness. Charlie, boom, goes right at the ball. He gets the steal. Said, don't call that. Oh, I have the two points. Excellent defender, Charlie Ward. Doug Edwards with 15 points for the Seminoles, Jimmy. And in this possession, the ball went from one side of the floor seat to the other side, got to the baseline, whether it's pass or drive, and then you got a cutter. That's good offensive movement of both the ball and the players. That'll get you two points. Foul situation. Oh, nice again. Oh. And from behind, beautiful defense that time. Lang came in there, didn't he? That's when you want your big guy to jump stop and go dunk it. Right? I mean, it's such a big exactly. bucket. Jump stop. Gather yourself and throw it down. Thomas Hill's defended. Cassell runs it down to the corner. Remember, Duke had that 6-15. They went scoreless in the Wells first half. the three. Here's the trap. Grant Hill. And it's Florida State's ball. Mike Krzyzewski's yelling right now. Defense. Defense. Get it done on the defensive end of the court. You got to stop him. Remember that, Brent? At 6.15, that low we had to get a first half. Can you see it again here? Move the ball. Move the ball. Ward. Ball went from one side to the other again. And all of a sudden, it's a two-point game. It's Hurley wide open. Penetrates and gives it to Parks. Offense. He's a big time athlete. And he has come to play in this way. There's Edwards. Oh, he was wide open. The big guy down low was wide open. Now Hurley looking for a bust through. Ward was on his hip, his third. He picked up two early ones, and that's his first since the early moments of this game. I mean, think about this young man. He's not, you know, Deion Sanders came out of Florida State, and he's one of the, the greatest all-around athletes I've ever seen. But think about a young man who is a quarterback who steps in here and starts running the basketball team. I mean, that's unbelievable. And they're playing, too, with a point guard considered the best in college basketball. He's not going up against, you know, some guy who's struggling. He's going up against the best penetrator in the college game. 
Last time down in Flowers, they got away from a good offensive concept. Took a quick shot. Has to give it up. Hurley stayed with him that time. Good defense by Bobby. Hurley won that battle. Now snaps it inside, and Hill is fouled. He'll come to the line, and this was all due to Bobby Hurley's defense at the other end. And Hurley won that battle, Bobby. Try to do an awful lot on the dribble. You, know, you need to pass the ball a little bit more. You just see the uh, tail end of uh, Bobby Hurley's defensive effort. And then he can do that. You know that he can push it up the floor. Grant Hill, a great step to the basket. And let's see what the free throws bring. What a great college career he's had. Oh. Huh? And this one isn't bad either. Shooter. There is the young man out of New Jersey, his brother playing for Seton Hall. Certainly as entertaining a college basketball player as you'll see this year. Only been to three Final Fours, won two national championships. That man's only been to five in a row and six out of seven. And <laughs> where's the Hall of Fame? Open the door. And it's absolutely a remarkable one. One of the greatest in sports. I really more than you said, man. No. At least come close to that. Five Edwards didn't feel comfortable. Sura has it rejected by Parks. This is Lang. Spinner by Hurley. Here's Thomas Hill. They can be ever so smooth, can't they? Hurley's got the ball in the middle of the floor. Now it's Edwards. No, Brent, we're seeing a lot of NBA guys out here. There's a lot of guys here who went to the big show for this squad. And there's a lot of scouts here, too, watching. Stolen by Sura. Let's see what he does in here. He's a favorite to shoot it. <laughs> Tapped in by Cassell. Trap again. Hill wide open, a diagonal pass. Dribbling out, got himself into trouble in the corner. Crowd won't like this ball being awarded back to Duke as Clark checks back in and Lang sits. Oh, Hurley. Edwards. Now it's Cassell coming through and a Sura on the other side, but Cassell had already been fouled. It's one of those where Bobby Hurley feels he had all ball. Felt he got his body in front, all ball. Feels the referee standing behind the play, really couldn't see it. For a time, it looked like Duke was going to lock it up, but they could not put the Seminoles away. And now they're in a bit of a dogfight here with 6.17 to go. And this could pull the Seminoles to within one. That is out. Pat Kenny doing a good job of changing his defenses. Gone from half court traps. Grant Hill. Not a good decision. He does not take three-point shots, Grant Hill, but he will take shots inside that three-point arc. You got to get out there and guard him there. 22 for him, Jimmy. Osura oh, cut off on the double team at the baseline. Dribbles back the other way. But he has not been a good free throw shooter today. He is relentless. Sir is absolutely relentless. Going to the glass. That's so why he's got to he's got to work on his foul shooting because he's going to go there so often. He shoots 
He doesn't like courage. Oh, wow. That ain't playing Will Spack. Get out there on that mechanic. That's right. He's Go a after it. Kid, That's isn't he? right. He's a tough kid. Yeah, he really becomes a major factor in this game if he starts to hit these free throws the way he gets oh, to the line. Oh, for five. Wow. So Park sits. Oh, you Florida State fans, how do you like the new uniforms Burt Reynolds bought for the basketball team? I still haven't gotten used yet to the long shorts, uh, Brent. They just, uh, I mean, if I was playing today, I, I wouldn't even need socks. Those suckers would come <laughs> right to my ankles. Well, he hits a couple. Makes it a two-point game again. And a trap. Here comes that trap. And watch the diagonal pass. There it is. Clark comes down the baseline. The wraparound oh. misses. Seminole's ball. Made a nice move. Good pass. Good drive. I'm going to tell you that Wells has contributed to the Seminoles here in this half, too. Coming off that bench on the drive through his Ward. Put it down and on the line. can you say as you said I mean uh, Mr. Heisman boom gets slapped on the wrist has the strength has the presence of mind gets it up on the glass three point play Charlie we believe The trap should not give you trouble. You should get outside. You should get the jump shots you want, especially a veteran team. Should get jump shots. Park knocked away and a foul called. That is number four. Maybe just a tad too much dribbling against that print. Because if you just take it a bounce in and the defense collapse, you kick it right back outside, you're going to get a hurly jumper. You're going to get a Grand Hill jump. You're going to get a jump shot against that trap. Look right here. When he puts it down on the floor, now if he just got rid of it, you see too many players coming around. It's the trap. Kick it out. Now Mike Krzyzewski has sent Cherokee Parks immediately into the game. Edwards playing with four. They'll try to back Parks down into that low block now and pound it down in and see what they can do. Florida State would be in serious trouble yep. if Edwards fouls out of this game. Immediately, Krzyzewski made the move on the fourth foul. And Jimmy, just go back to what you said at the top. That game of matchups continues here. And it's the type of thing where, as a coach, you don't want to get married to it. You want to try to get the guys fifth, but don't get so obsessed with it that you go away from the things you do well. Give it a shot next time, but maybe just don't do it every time they get so carried away that it affects your whole offensive game plan. Edwards offensive should have the ball. I've been saying that all day. Get him the ball. Good things happen. He got a good jump shot out. Oh, he's the a line. good player. He's really a good player. I'm telling you, you're going to get a jump shot on this. All you got to do is penetrate a little bit and kick it to her. Penetrate, kick it, and the shot. It's there all night long. Bang. I, I, it's been there the whole time. It's always, that's the danger. When you, you go into that trap, you're going to give up as long as you don't. One bounce. One bounce. Duke could be going a little too far. Oh. Turnover. Costly one. Hurley study in the floor. Goes Here he to get the back corner. to him. Oh, right back to him. Rattles out. Right back to him in his line. They see Mike Krzyzewski. Mike saying, there he was. Throw it right back to him. Throw it right back to Hurley. He banks home another three. 
And you feel the heck of a lot better at 77 72. Well, now the foul situation really balancing out. Grant Hill forced to play with four personals as Thomas Hill will replace Lang. That'd be interesting to see if the strategy and with Pat Kennedy, if Sar makes the two, might really have the courage to go back in pressure again after giving up a few. I say no. Don't do that. Just play go graph, go straight man. Go straight man. Don't do it. Make or miss. Go back, man. Dobard returns and Wells sits down, but Wells gave him some quality minutes here. Let's see. That's four free throws in a row for Sir after missing his first five. Game is tied. Four minutes to go. And back man, I like when they listen to him. I think it's it's good to tune into us over here. Parks, great pass on the cutter, couldn't score. Sura down with Grant Hill's miss. Wow, that was a layup for Hill. Uncharacteristic miss. Again, I'll say. Ball should be touched every time by Edwards down the floor. Every time. Every time down, make him touch. 21 for Edwards. Oh, he's going back to the trap. Patrick, I don't know. Why do you want to trap? Got the lead back. Going to give up a J. Mark the baseline. Yeah. He took the layup instead. Yeah, yeah, he's very fortunate. You know, that's when you drive against that, you get that charge, and you drive against those zones. Just let Edwards touch it. Good things will happen. And have to shoot it. There he is. Give it to him. Give it to him. Guy's got four fouls. That's it. Ooh. Didn't have to take that. See, that's got it back. too much. Open man baseline. Parks with a big time rejection. Wow. Big time block on Sura's shot by Cherokee Parks. Now, now Douglas doesn't have to shoot it. Hustle to get it back makes a nice pass and boom. And not coming to the free throw line this time as Parks got all the it's, ball. It's like players, it's such maturity you have to have, Brent. Edwards is now getting the ball, as he should be, but doesn't mean now you don't kick it out. Man. Comes in, kick it back out. Move, get it back again. Make it get a little easier shot possible. There he is, got it. He's, there you go. And got the bounce. In the lead. Straight man. Fake. Hurley got inside that's Lord. That's all right. Tied it. That's okay. If I'm the coach, that's right. You took one Hurley to do. Don't give him that three that beats you. Let him put it on the floor and have to take a fly. That's a tough shot. That's a tougher shot for Hurley to make than that standstill three-pointer. Now Cassell on a run. Oh, we're seeing some great individual performances right now, Brent. It's Duke's turn. And they got the guys to do it. Grand Hill, Bobby Hurley, Thomas Hill, Parks. Who's the guy right there? I'd get him low, though. I'd like to have Grand Hill low. That's where I want him, right there. Not out there. A little harder out there, Phil. Knocked away. And uh, uh -oh. oh, the big man uh -oh. has fouled out. Uh oh. That could be the biggest moment of this game. Look at the players, man. Everybody's holding their shorts, bending over. They're tired. Yeah, that's a dangerous pass, really. And uh, that's why you'd like to have Grant Hill low. Douglas Edwards was terrific. 21 points and 12 rebounds, Jimmy. And when he got the ball, good things happened. And I still think Florida State's offense should start by that ball going inside and let him kick it back outside. So at the 128 mark, Edwards fouls out. Now it's got to change. Now the offense has to be perimeter oriented, drive. And, and kick out for threes or drive and take it yourself. It's going to be a Cassell, Ward, and Surrey show for the last minute and 28. And these now, critical free throws. If you're a Duke, 
Do you pound it into Cherokee? I, I, I don't see them having anybody who can handle him, but by the same token, I would probably still, I'd post Grand Hill. I, I, I'd work Hill, in fact, I'd work the triangle. I'd work the triangle. I'd have, uh, try and give the ball down low to Hill and have Hurley out. You have Thomas Hill there, and you're gonna have a lot of good things happen there. Lang and Clark sets. 128, oh, so, game so tied at 80. Big free throw. Man, Parks is playing terrific ball. Man. See, now it's going to be a perimeter game now. It's going to be a drive, and dish will go all the way. And it's going to be a ward to sell and serve a show right now. Unless nobody, somebody gets a, a kickoff, those are the guys going to make it happen. You don't want the shot there. Oh, wow. Bogart took it That's short hard. on the turnaround, then he reaches up over yeah. and he fouls Parks. So he that. makes two mistakes. Oh, yeah. Mistake was thrown it in there. I had nothing good could happen at that. I mean, not to be nasty, but that's not. It's got to happen with the three players on the perimeter. He might get a dish after a drive and dunk. But a turnaround, Jay, not what you're looking for. So Parks comes back to the free throw line again. And this time he can put the Blue Devils ahead. Sixty seven percent free throw shooter case you under he knocked the last two nothing but net a little long Here's the other decision you have to make now you Florida State He scores you want to score quickly you want to shoot quickly Ooh, he missed them both Florida State's ball no bar tied at 80 Nobody makes the big rebound. Big rebound. Time wow. remaining on the right hand side. Remember in the college game, 45 seconds and you must shoot it. I'd, I'd be surprised, Patrick. If he doesn't call a timeout, if he, if he doesn't, it's just it's gonna be a drive. It's gonna be spread the floor. Drive makes something happen. That's it. Shot clock down to about 17. And drive and just drive. Take it to the hole, Sam. Take it to the hole. Oh, it was out. And it's Duke's ball it with was two seconds to go. Last shot time. Brent, it was in. It's winner overtime now. Oh, got to go four low and let Hurley beat him. Four low. Four low. This is win or OT. Folks. Okay, four low, let him beat him. But it's going to be four low, Brent. There, there we go. go. Baseline. No. Oh! He goes no after it. Loose ball. No foul. Out of bounds. And time is what run out. What a play by Charlie Ward. Like going after a fumble. He almost had a breakout. Oh, and I looked up the clock. You'd had three seconds to go the length of the court. Wow. It's overtime in Tallahassee. Five minutes. Long time. Overtime is underway. The ball oh, can't do it. Body. <laughs> Pardon me. Can't do it. Duke ball. You tip it. You got to tip it. Can't catch it. <laughs> so important in overtime to get off. So often the squad that gets out early in the overtime for some reason team that's losing feels like it's over I don't know why and but if Brad Hill gets do yeah, that if you get up like four or six for some reason not like it's the end of the game where you feel like hey, hey it's four and a half minutes you got forever now Wells has replaced Edwards and fouled out this is Dobard backing in swings up a little baby now, but he was so much closer to the basket that time though. I mean the last jump that he took before was a turnaround Jay not his shot that was a good shot Thomas Hill, quick, quick, Sura. Ward moves it. Uh-oh. They'll come up to the line. This who's number five, I believe. That's five on Grant Hill. Oh, He's yes. fouled out. I've always felt that uh, once you go in overtime, you get an extra timeout, you should get an extra foul. If you had a guy who has five, 
he should be able to come back in and play and then you should get a sixth foul because such a wonderful game you like the best players to determine the outcome and you, know, you go double overtime sometimes you're playing with guys you know just haven't played that much and it's such an important game. Oh, Patrick having a heck of a guy. <laughs> he's, he's patting him. He's grabbing him. He's smiling. Coach, I got it. Don't worry about it. Players always say, why the coach is so nervous? It's a lot of fun out here. Bogart coming up big. Coming up big. Sixty-four percent free throw shooter. Gets them both at all four points. So he shoots the Seminoles into the lead here in overtime. Now four minutes to go. There's that track. And the one thing Bobby Hurley has not done today is Ward is penetrate at will like he has against so many other defenders. This time he is cut off by Casello helps out. And now without Grand Hill, they lost a great offensive weapon. Track could be a little more effective now. Parks. Oh, she, she come up big. Wow. 14. Big 14. Two great seems every time Florida State has that shot of getting the ball in the lead. Parks scores. Bounds and it looked like it was Florida State's ball. It is. Nice job by Wells. It's giving Florida State quality minutes off the bench. This is Wells coming down the baseline. Wow, what a shot that was. Well, he has been big time here oh, in the second yeah. half. I didn't think he could hold up when he first came in his game, but not only has he held up, he has put Florida State ahead. Now it's Hurley looking for room, and here he comes. That's the first time he's been able to glide through that defense. Charlie Ward is a little bit tired. He, he noticed, yeah. he says, where's Marvin Jones? When did I turn <laughs> this thing over to the defense for a while? Duke kept trying to get a timeout after the score. And couldn't get it, finally got it that time. And we'll return for more college basketball action after this word from your local station. And hey, Dobard, let's give the young man credit. Uh, he's gotten what, 16 tonight, Brent? And that was Edwards on the delivery before he fouled out of this game. He had a big time performance here this afternoon. Florida State with the ball, deadlock with the Blue Devils. Oh, sells three. Oh. Great. And Sura hustles, but was out of bounds. Duke's ball. Oh, he did such a good job, Sura, trying to get that rebound, keep it alive. Those are shots Cassell hits. Seen him. He beat uh, Wake Forest this year with a shot in the lane. He's hit that so often. So Charlie Ward needed that timeout to get a little breather. They go back to work against. Bobby Hurl. Turkey wants the ball. Clark drops it to Cherokee. Short, Seminoles. Wells fielding the missed bucket. You can see when a guy wants the ball, but it's only in his eyes. But when you get it, that necessarily mean you gotta shoot it. Bobard playing on him. This is short and Sura goes and digs another one out rejected oh. by Parks run down by Clark another big time blocked by Cherokee Parks. Thomas Hill glides in loose Clark. Wow. Very fortunate. Very fortunate that time on his drive. When Dobard takes shots in the lane. Going to the basket, he's fine. He takes those turnaround jumpers. That's when he gets himself in trouble. 
Purcell short. Little rebound into Hurley's hands. Duke with a two point lead and, and the foul. Might as well put him on the line. Hurley is up. A difference to shot clock in. Game I still think put him on the line. I don't think they're going to here, are they? I mean, they're going to well, back off. It's just too much. Of it. If they score, it's over. The shot clock it. has slipped inside a 20 yeah. and is now down at 15. If they score, it's over. That's the only reason I love to foul. If they scored, get no shot at one. Well, Hurley steps on the inside. Dishes intercepted. Seven holes. A chance to tie it. Wow. And a chance to win it with the three. Uh, Florida State will set their strategy here with 15 ticks of the clock left. Duke leads it 88 86, but it's Florida State's ball when we all come back. I mean, Hurley's inside. There it is. There's the dish. But look at Wells. Comes off his man. Cherokee parks and gets the steal. And now we got the situation. Watch. What, what far as they want to do, Brandy, shoot the ball with enough time to get an offensive rebound, shoot it, not going. And Sura is a great offensive rebound. So you'd really, I look for Ward or Cassell with the ball to either take that last shot. If it's Cassell, he takes a lot of threes. Got a little delay here while Dobart uh, gets dressed. Tucks in his jersey. 15 seconds. He certainly is not nervous. And here we go. I look for, for right here, Cassell with the ball, making the move. And if he does miss, watch. Well, Wells with a three. He got it. Two seconds. Timeout. Holy cow. Byron Wells hit a three. How oh, would you believe it? Kennedy immediately got his players off the floor as quickly as he could. They were celebrating. There's plenty of time left here for Duke. He has to set the defense. You know, remember Christian Leitner, the Kentucky game. Duke, the long pass. Will Pat Kennedy have a guy on the man out of bounds? I think so. All right, I'll tell you one thing. Mike Krzyzewski could have never thunk it. Said they're going to go to Wells for three. I no didn't way. believe he would take and look the at shot. That. Cherokee He's Parks had a hand in his face. But you see Sir is right there for the rebound. But I mean, I, I, no, I would never have thought Wells. But he's right there. Look at Parks. All over. And should he miss, look at the glass. Look at it. Look at Sir. Unbelievable. So I assume Duke will run that same play, which is a lob pass to the top of the key. Oh, but Young man from Tampa. Done a heck of a job here today. What a job. <laughs> The one guy you're not going to think of a three as well as in the corner. You're just not done. But as Kentucky knows, yeah. it ain't over till it's over. Go right, throw the ball along. Get somebody on the guy out of bounds. Patrick, get somebody on the guy out of bounds. And when that long pass comes, yeah, you're going to do it. See that? Put him on the guy. Dobart moves right all over. back on Lang. All over. They are not giving him any daylight on the long pass. Yeah, no shot. 2.7. On that clock. Very tough. No. Ward steals and it's over. The Seminoles beat Duke for the first time in the history of the school. State and Coach Pat Kennedy. Perhaps the biggest win in the history of their program by one over Duke. So long, everybody.